Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. On this video, uh, we're going to continue building on the application that we built last time. And what we did in the last tutorial, we implemented the login and the sign up for this page. So what, now what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to implement some logic. So if someone signs in, so test.gmail.com. So right now we don't have a way to tell if someone signed in or not. So right now, well, it takes you to the home page, but that's it. But you can still see the login and the sign up buttons here. So we're going to implement a logic that shows if the user is signed in, we'll show like a sign up button. And if their user hasn't signed in, then we'll show these buttons. So let's get it started. All right. So what we're going to be doing is the following. So we'll come where it says pages. And here we'll just create a new. This is just like a component. So let me just go back to components instead of pages, components. And here I'll just create like one that says uh, authentication logic, or just authentication.js. Let's just keep it simple. Okay, and here we're just gonna we have our we'll have our component, but let me just copy from here just to have like a something to start with, right? And we might need some of these actually, but all right, so let's just keep it simple for now. Just say authentication. Say authentication here. Okay, that's it. And now we're going to start implementing the logic. All right. So one of the things that we're going to need is we need to manage the state of the authenticated users. So we'll just say authenticated uh, user. Let's say set authenticated authenticated user. All right. And here we'll say this use state. Okay, and we need to import some things here. So let's just go back to navigation because I think we're going to be using some of these. So let me just import this navigation because we're going to change the nav bar. So we also need this. And let's just go back here because we need React, we need use state. And we also need the Firebase off. So let's uh, import this. So the import here, I think it's going to be a, a bit different because we have it in a different, uh, where do we have it in components, right? All right, so here, this one is going to change because it's not in the same folder anymore. So we'll just say Firebase like that. Okay, and authenticated user, set authenticated user. All right, we should be good with this one here. And if you go to... Let's say that you go to where is it? Get it started with authentication, right? And here it's also gonna show you, and this is the page from the last tutorial, uh, how to you know get the authentication and how to sign them out and all of that. So here you have the how to manage the state of an authenticated user, and we're gonna need to pass this, which is on state authentication and all of that. So let uh, let's import that, and we did something for the login. So let's just copy this. We'll go to authentication and you saw that the one that we needed is the on state on auth state changed All right so let's just paste it here so we're going to be using that and we're also going to be signing users out uh, there is nothing about signing them out there should be something here just sign out okay anyways you can just you know type firebase sign out user and you'll get it so base sign sign out authentication and i should have uh, something that shows me how to do it i i know the method but like i just wanted to show you that you can get it from here sign in a new user next steps auth sign out yeah, so this is how you do it. So you need actually the sign out like this. 
all right so we'll also need that so so we'll need these two things okay so once we have those two things we can start implementing the logic here. so what we want to do is we want to use uh, use effect and we're gonna say we're gonna we're gonna set like a listener we'll say const or what can we call it listen auth or something like that and we'll say on auth state changed so like if the state of the user changed and we have to pass auth and then we'll say user okay and I forgot to open them yes and then what we're gonna say if the user exists then we'll say you know set auth user to to the user right set authenticating authenticated user to user okay and then else we'll set it to null and by default uh, it's null right so it has to check if the user exists but by default it's just null just put null here okay so now we have that else turn okay and then we'll say just you know return here we'll just say we want listen auth right to see if it's authenticated or not all right so we'll just use a hook like that and that's it okay so this is gonna check if the user is authenticated or not and it's gonna set it to like the user that's authenticated or it's gonna set it to null so the next thing that we want to do is uh, sign out users right so we'll say user sign out we'll just create like a function here it's like an arrow function once again and then we'll say uh, you know we'll use the sign out that we got from authent uh, the authentication package and we'll say auth then why is he giving me this uh, then and this is just like a callback function again that's gonna say you know console log just console log if the user sign out or something like that just just for now sign user signed out signed out okay and if we have any errors we'll catch the errors so we'll just say catch wait I'm missing something here yeah this doesn't go here but it goes here all right catch and if there is an error we'll just, uh, just give it to us on the console log as well and then error okay and this is here all right just like that all right so now we have our sign out uh, function we also have this use effect which is going to check it's like a listener that's going to check if the user is authenticated or not or if it's signed in or not and then we what we want to return so we want to use this to return something right so we want to change the nav links so what we'll have to do is we have to implement here a logic that checks if the user is signed signed in then we, we don't want to use um we don't want to show some of the nav links and if it's signed out we want to show all the nav links right so for that we'll have to also go back to navigation and we'll just get rid of these or ju we'll just take these for us and we'll take them and put them in the authentication here and just bear with me so go back to navigation so right now it's just going to show two links but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be passing the auth what do we call it authentication authentication component here so we'll just pass this component and just make sure that it gets a uh, import uh, yeah it's in the same folder so you just have to do this so what's going to happen here is this component is going to be rendered here depending on if the user is signed in or not so let's just save this and go to authentication again 
and the logic that we're going to implement here is so we need like a parent template for I mean we need a parent component here in order to do this so we'll say something like this all right let's fix this okay so the logic that we're going to be implementing is the following so we'll say you know if the user or if authenticated user you know it's uh, it's equal to null all right so what we're going to be saying is like if the authenticated user is null we want to show the login and the sign up because they haven't logged in or signed up yet so we'll just display this here uh, parent template I need to I need these tags as well inside of here so we'll just put that there and here we'll just put this as well okay and let's get rid of this for now alright so that's if the authenticated user is null but if the authenticated user exists oh, so if, the, if there is someone who signed in and it's authenticated we'll say the following we're gonna be displaying the same thing but it's gonna be different nav links so here we'll, we'll have like the sign out because the user is si has signed in right and it's authenticated and here we'll change this to all right and here we'll just say that it takes you to the home page or something like that right all right and when the user is signed out we'll just have them you know uh, once they click they're gonna be taken to a home page and also we'll just say on click uh, show like the sign the user sign out so we want to say user sign out so we want to call this function user sign out which is gonna sign out the users okay and that should be it um, I think it should be good now alright so let's go see if it works so let me just do like a quick recap okay so what we're passing here is the on on auth state changed which is gonna che check for the state of the of the users whether they're they, they are authenticated and signed in or not and we're using this one to sign out users right we're passing some of the nav bar here we don't need this well, I'm passing the nav here because I'm using the nav links so I'm passing that alright so we need to manage the state of the users that's why we have this line here and then we have like a like a use effect hook which is gonna help us listen if the user is signed in or if the user is null and it's gonna return this right alright so we also have this function which uh, it's gonna sign out the users and we're using this from uh, this is from uh, the Firebase documents which is gonna sign out the users and here we're just using the console log to see some of the messages we can get rid of these later and, and yeah and here we're just returning since we wanna change the nav bar so we're saying like if the user is null then show them these links and if the user is signed in then just show them like the sign out link okay so let's just save it and let's go see what happens let's go test it so right now you can already see that it detected that the user is uh, signed in right so now you can just click here and it should take me it should sign out sign me out and also it should take me to the um, let me open the console it should take me to the home page well I'm on the home page already so let's just open the console let's go here sign out all right let's see what happened so it took me to the home page and now I can see the login and the sign up uh, links again so I didn't see the message I think it's because it just goes up quickly uh, so now I can sign up and I can log in again so let's just log in once again so that you can see how it changes we'll just say test at gmail.com here we'll just put the password so once again you can see that the nav, nav link changed and now it says uh, you know sign out so once I click here it's gonna sign me out again so let's just go to the blog page so that you can see that it takes me to a home page so now it's gonna sign me out and now I see two different links which is the login and the sign up so we have uh, achieved what we wanted you don't have to log in anything here I mean uh, show this on the console log or anything like that so I'm just gonna leave it uh, just gonna leave it up to you but yeah the error here well let's just leave it there but you don't have to say that you, you can just sign out like the users and then that's it so just something like this right you can just leave it like this it's ju it's just gonna sign out the users so let's just go back let's go log in once again I just wanted to see a message but I didn't get it so I mean, it doesn't really matter too much as, so as long as we sign them out right so it signed them in we got that working 
and sign out the same thing so yeah so it works yeah so I think that's pretty much for this tutorial um, I know it's a little bit confusing but like if you just read the documents I think it makes it a little bit easier or you can just I got everything from the documents so like this is nothing new really and this is just the logic that we implemented to change the nav link and so forth and so on alright so that's it for this tutorial if you like the video just leave a like leave a comment uh, let me know what kind of videos you want me to make um, yeah and just stick around subscribe and I'll see you in the next one thank you